The Exocet is a French-built anti-ship missile whose various versions can be launched from surface vessels, submarines, helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft. The Exocet saw its first wartime launch during the Falklands War. The missile's name was given by Guillaume, then the technical director at Nor Aviation. It is the French word for flying fish, from the Latin Exocetus, a transliteration of the Greek name for the fish that sometimes flew into a boat, literally lying down outside, sleeping outside. The Exocet is built by MBDA, a European missile company. Development began in 1967 by NOR as a ship-launched weapon named the MM38. A few years later, Aerospatiale and NOR merged. The basic body design was based on the NOR AS-30 air-to-ground tactical missile. The sea-launched MM38 entered service in 1975, whilst the air-launched AM-39 Exocet began development in 1974 and entered service with the French Navy five years later in 1979. The relatively compact missile is designed for attacking small to medium-sized warships, e.g., frigates, corvettes, and destroyers, although multiple hits are effective against larger vessels, such as aircraft carriers. It is guided inertially in mid-flight and turns on active radar homing late in its flight to find and hit its target. As a countermeasure against air defense around the target, it maintains a very low altitude while inbound, staying just 1 to 2 meters above the sea surface. Due to the effect of the radar horizon, this means that the target may not detect an incoming attack until the missile is only 6,000 meters miles, from impact. This leaves little time for reaction and stimulated the design of close-in weapon systems CIWS. Its rocket motor, which is fueled by solid propellant, gives the Exocet a maximum range of 70 kilometers, 43 miles, 38 nautical miles. It was replaced on the Block 3 MM40 ship launched version of the missile with a solid propellant booster and a turbojet sustainer engine which extends the range of the missile to more than 180 kilometers, 110 miles, 97 nautical miles. The submarine launched version places the missile inside a launch capsule. Replacement future crew slash anti-ship weapon is under development. The Exocet has been manufactured in versions including MM38, surface launched, deployed on warships. Range, 42 kilometers. No longer produced. A coast defense version known as Excalibur was developed in the United Kingdom and deployed in Gibraltar from 1985 to 1997. AM39, air launched, B2 Mod 2, deployed on 14 types of aircraft, combat jets, maritime patrol aircraft, helicopters range between 50 and 70 kilometers, depending on the altitude and the speed of the launch aircraft. SM-39, submarine launched, B-2 Mod 2, deployed on submarines. The missile is housed inside a watertight launched capsule, Véhicule Su Marin, VSM, which is fired from the submarine's torpedo tubes. On leaving the water, the capsule is ejected and the missile's motor is ignited. It then behaves like an MM-40. The missile will be fired at depth, which makes it particularly suitable for discrete submarine operations. MM-40, surface launched, Block 1, Block 2 and Block 3, deployed on warships and in coastal batteries. Range, 72 km for the Block 2, in excess of 200 km for the Block 3. In February 2004, the Delegation Générale pour l'Armement, DGA, notified MBDA of a contract for the design and production of a new missile, the MM-40 Block 3. It has an improved range, in excess of 180 kilometers, 97 nautical miles, through the use of a turbojet engine, and includes four air intakes to provide continuous airflow to the power plant during high G maneuvers. The Block 3 missile accepts GPS guidance system waypoint commands, which allow it to attack naval targets from different angles and to strike land targets, giving it a marginal role as a land attack missile. The Block 3 Exocet is lighter than the previous MM40 Block 2 Exocet. 45 Block 3 Exocets were ordered by the French Navy in December 2008 for its ships, which were carrying Block 2 missiles, namely Horizon class and Aquitaine class frigates. These are not to be new productions but the conversion of older Block 2 missiles to the Block 3 standard. An MM40 Block 3 last qualification firing took place on the Ile du Levant test range on April 25, 2007, and series manufacturing began in October 2008. The first firing of the Block 3 from a warship took place on March 18, 2010, from the French Navy Air Defense Frigate Chevalier Paul. In 2012, a new motor, designed and manufactured in Brazil by the Avibras Company in collaboration with MBDA, was tested on an MM-40 missile of the Brazilian Navy. Besides the French, the Block 3 has been ordered by several other navies including that of Greece, the UAE, Chile, Peru, Qatar, Oman, Indonesia, and Morocco. 
The chief competitors to the Exocet are the US-made Harpoon, the Italian Automat, the Swedish RBS-15 and the Chinese Yingji series. In 1982, during the Falklands War, Argentine Navy Dassault Brigitte Super E-tendered warplanes carrying the AM-39 air-launched version of the Exocet caused damage which sank the Royal Navy destroyer HMS Sheffield on May 4, 1982. Two more Exocets struck the 15,000-ton merchant ship Atlantic Conveyor on 25 May. Two MM-38 ship-to-ship missiles were removed from the destroyer Ara Sagi, a former U.S. Navy Allen M. Sumner-class destroyer, and transferred to an improvised launcher for land use. The missiles were launched on June 12, 1982 and one hit the destroyer HMS Glamorgan. During the Iran-Iraq War, on May 17, 1987, an Iraqi aircraft identified as a Dassault Mirage F-1 fired two Exocet missiles at the American frigate USS Stark. Both missiles struck the port side of the ship near the bridge. No weapons were fired in defense, the Phalanx Seawiz remained in standby mode and the Mark 36 Sherbach countermeasures were not armed. 37 United States Navy personnel were killed and 21 were wounded. The ship did not sink, and was eventually repaired. The Exocet missile is one of the most deadly missiles and is a testament to the French industrial might. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.